Hi! It's episode 67 of Let's Play Fallout 3 Blind. And look at this raider! Isn't this a nice pose? She looks like she could be on the cover of, like, Wasteland magazine or something. We, we should start that magazine and, and Gob can be one of our models because he's he's a solid 8.02 out of 10. Remember? Remember, guys? It's important. Alright, well, we are going to finish looking around in here. And I, I don't know. I'm not scared, really, at the moment. That could change. That could change. That could change at any time. Oh, there's a thing there. Ooh! I'm a rebel. See that? Don't mess with me. I shoot random containers. Pew! That doesn't seem to do a whole lot. I imagine maybe if someone was there... Oh, this is the room where we got all the clothes. This is the room where all the clothes were. Well, we don't need to go in there again. How about... How about this one? Well... I do want the caps. Um, I don't like the skelly on the bed, guys. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Oh, no, another wardrobe. Whoa, we're getting so many nice clothes. I don't like the skelly on the bed. I feel like it's going to jiggle. I don't I don't I don't feel so good about that. I don't want I don't want it to move and scare me. How all of them move and scare me. What? It's like a bathtub full of milk jugs and cans and a fan. That's very interesting. That's very interesting home design, don't you think? Filling your bathtub that way. Not very functional, but... You know, whatever. I'm not an interior decorator. I don't... I don't know these things. Okay, this appears to be a dead end. We may seem safe for the moment. It is fleeting. It is fleeting. Safety is always fleeting, isn't it, buddy? Okay, let's go down this way. I remember I shot that one into a puddle. From stealth. What's in here? Hello? Oh, I can't open it. Ooh, I see a quantum over there. That's the last one we need, actually. But we're still going to go to the Nuka-Cola plant because I think it will be fun. I think it will be an interesting place to visit since she pointed it out to us, right? So what's the best way? I like how his gun didn't melt. Ooh, this looks spooky. Hi, let's turn the light off. Okay. Yeah, we got we got our our big guy right there. We'll be safe. We'll be fine. Our big guy's gonna keep us safe. It'll be fine. Ooh, Raider, hello. I want to get you from stealth. Pew pew. Oh, I disarmed him somehow. Maybe the dog did that. Well. Yes, Fox, you win again. You're so good at winning. Oh, there was a quantum in there too. We are just done with that quest. Oh, terminal. Let's go ahead and unlock this first, though. Why? Because I said so. And I'm... I'm in charge! I'm running this ship. I'm the captain of my own destiny or something. Oh, come on! It's like right here. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright. So this is the room I was looking into. There's the quantum. Anything else? Ooh, a metro ticket. I haven't even got to use one yet. I... I was told that I can give them to the metro station robots to make them think I'm a passenger so they don't attack me when I activate them. And that's pretty good, you know, I would like to do that. I just haven't actually done that yet. I don't know what turpentine is for. Is it for a recipe of some sort? That's what I've been assuming, but mostly I just sell it. Though, I don't know. But I need to continue selling it. Another vacuum cleaner. Don't worry, Fox. I'm being mindful all the time. Haven't you met me? I'm basically Miss Mindful. <laughs> that's not true. That's 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 not true. I shouldn't lie to you, should I? I'm not very mindful. I'm mindless, if anything. Ooh. There we go. And this one. And this one. And that. And that. Okay, great. Cabinet? Sure. Let's try this terminal here. Poppers, you need to move. Yeah, this should be easy. Whoa! I don't even have to do any editing for that. That was good. Alright. <laughs> Yay, us. 
Level up. Okay, great. Time for me to not know what to do again. And, I don't know, probably distribute points badly. <laughs> Wait, what? What? I just, I just unlock everything before I even check the terminals. Well, whatever. Okay, so... Energy weapons. And maybe explosives. And small guns. I don't know how much to... I don't know. I have a few more levels to go. I feel like I can max out everything I care about. Well, maybe not sneak. I don't know that I necessarily care about sneak. Maybe I should put that in repair. I don't really need to do anything to science anymore because it's just going to max out eventually anyway, I guess. And I have a lab coat. I have Lesko's lab coat. So that's fine. How about repair? What do you think about that? Um, I don't really care about barter. I mean, it's just money. I can just sell more stuff to make up for whatever I lose by not being good at bartering, right? Uh, big guns, I'm not going to use them. Lockpick is all the way up. Speech is all the way up. Sneak, eh. I mean, I'm kind of using it, but it, not really. I feel like it would be better if I was traveling alone, you know? I'm having high sneak and sniping everyone. But we're, we're not doing that. We're kind of just exploding everything and having a good time, so. I don't really know what I need medicine for. I used it to save, um, time bomb that once, but I don't really know other than that what I need it for. I'm not using melee weapons anymore. That was kind of a start of the game thing, I guess. So yeah, this is kind of what I'm thinking is I'm just going to max out energy weapons and explosives and small guns and then everything else I'm going to throw it into repair. That's currently what I'm thinking I'm going to do. And if you have any ideas, I mean, if you have any, I don't know. I'm open to suggestion, guys. You know that. All right, let's go ahead and continue. And I still just want to take daddy's girl because I miss dad. But I don't need the points in science or medicine. I know, I'm ridiculous. Okay, so... This guy, I thought about this, but I don't, I don't really know. I feel like I'm not even hardly using vats, and I'm not very effectively using it when I am using it because derp. So, I don't know. Explorer is pretty good, and I do want to take it. But I also kind of like exploring and finding places on my own, so I don't necessarily feel... The need to take it right now um that's irrelevant i think i'm gonna go with tag actually because i don't know why not i want to max out a lot of skills how about i throw the tag points into energy weapons and then that, that would be really high actually maybe i'll take this down and put some of those in repair or i could throw the tag points in repair it doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter but i'm gonna take tag and i'm gonna throw those points into energy weapons yeah, that looks good to me. Sure. I could throw it into... Wait. Oh. Okay. I get it. I remember now. I remember the beginning of the game where I tagged skills. Okay, I get it. Yeah, that's fine. I'm good with that. That should be good. I'm happy with it. Okay, great. That's all that matters. I mean, we're doing fine anyway, especially with having our cheaty companions. But, you know, they make me feel safe. They do. They make me feel safe. I guess I don't really need them, though, because you make me feel safe. You know? So, um, I don't know. I mean, I played the first parts of the game by myself, and I did okay, because you're here. So, oh, it's just this room again. See, I don't know. I could probably play by myself more, but I, I like the happy friends. I really do. I really do like having friends. I mean, the dog is just so cute, and Fox is just such a gentleman, and Sharon's a sweetheart, but he's not here right now. I'm gonna have to get Sharon, guys. I miss him. He's he's such a cool dude, and I miss him. Dude, where? That's inaccessible. Of course it is. Oh, don't think about that. I don't want to think about the stair, man. Stairman is scary. I actually do think I had a nightmare about Stairman, but I'm not going to try to remember that because no thanks. Oh, come on. Go. Go, go, go. There we go. This is where I wanted to go to. Is there any reason for me to be over here? There's a door. Hello, baddies? Any baddies? No? I kind of feel like there should be more baddies in here. A book. 
Okay. Anything else? Hello? What's the point of this? Oh, food. Okay, I guess. What else? I feel like there should be traps in this hallway, but I don't know. Oh, I've been here. I remember being over here. I see. Okay. Oh, this room looks cute. I don't think I came in here. Or did I? I must have. I don't... I don't know anymore. Everything's starting to blend together. Let's just go ahead and go back. Let's go back. Because I don't want to spend too much time in here. We've already spent a little while in this place and there's not even anything going on. So let's just leave. That's it. That's the end. There's nothing going on. No one needs anything from in here. Quick check that this is de definitely a dead end. Yes. And that's it. That's it, guys. We're done. Woohoo! We did it. We went through the arms successfully. I'm assuming this was a hotel from the room set up. It seems like it might have been a hotel. Probably was a hotel. Yeah, look, this is the check-in desk and everything. Well, that's fine. I don't, I don't know. It's still a better hotel than the other one was. See, look, it's even got a fission battery right here. We could just pop that in the elevator and it would be fine. Don't step on him. Ugh, don't step on him. That's, ugh, it's so gross. Okay, let's leave. I really am not a fan of that half a person over there. That's spooky. It's got a face and everything. No thanks. At least I think it's got a face. It was upside down. And I'm not going to flip him over. I'm not going to do it. No way. Please don't crash game. I know I'm saying that a lot. But, you know. Okay. Alright, well that's that. So, how about something else? Let's just go ahead and go back to Moira. I think that is what we should do. We've only created four weapons. That's not too many. We should create hey more weapons. Hi! Is everyone from the vault as kind as you? Um, yes. I've already answered this question, but I'm going to answer it again by saying yes. Everyone in the vault is an absolute precious sweet roll and should be protected. That's definitely the case. So, we're done with this quest. And what was the next one? What was the other stuff she needed us to do? I, I guess she'll remind us. Yeah, I don't remember. Oops. Oops, I keep forgetting that I can't go in there at night time. Alright, let's go home then. There we go. It should be open now. Hello again, guys. Move, please. Please move. Oh, friends. Do not do this. Do not make me have to use my amazing parkour skills to get out of my own room. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> uh. There. Fixed it. Okay, come on, guys. Let's go on. And talk to... Hello. I wish there were more people like you in the world. Thank you. I want you to have this. I hope it helps keep you safe. You know, consider it. Thanks. You know, considering Certainly. it's like the same. It's the least I could do. It's like the same two chicks time. every time. It's like the same two ladies who give me stuff every time. You feel like, I feel like after running up to me and giving me the same presents over and over again, or giving me presents. You know what I mean? Not maybe not necessarily the same ones. They keep giving me different stuff. But like, if you kept running up to someone, giving them gifts and telling them how amazing they are, you think you could like get on a first name basis? And have like some more better conversation than what she has, but I guess I guess not. Maybe she's shy. Is it there? Are there books? Oh, can I go borrow some? I mean, maybe. Do you think Yearling would let Moira borrow some books? <laughs> she might. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and give her the archives. Really? A whole library's worth of data right there? Oh, that's great news. So, what did you find? Tell me about it. The Brotherhood. I found the Brotherhood. Um. 
the librarian's on duty. I'd have brought you a present, but I forgot my card. That's funny. Let's go ahead with the intelligence option. I suspect you and I are two of the only people who really appreciate its value. Yes. I don't know. I think Fox would appreciate it. Oh, my it. goodness. He likes when that I'm kind of thing. When I'm done with this, I'll have to work on copying all of this information. It could take a while, you know. Oh, but here's a book of mine and some caps for your research. Think of it as pay for a civilization worth of overdue books. <laughs> okay, what book is she going to give me? Lion Congressional is not great. My favorite book, but one I don't need. Thank you. Moira, okay, let's continue research. I want to find out the history of how a successful settlement like Rivet City got started. Okay. I've also got to do a section on working with old computer electronics. So there's some research to be done in the old Robco production facility. We've been there. We've That's where and we went for the mole rats, the isn't it? Chapter. So what'll it be? Let's do the freaking computer one. Yeah, let's do the computer one. It does, doesn't it? That's the main frame. I mostly just thing. deal with it after it's junked. But a trader gave me this Robco processor widget. He said it's worth a fortune. So I can go plug that into According the mainframe. Him, if it's connected to the mainframe in the I knew it. Factory, I'm a genius. You could have access to not. all the robots you'd ever want. Okay. Now that would be a great example of how to harness technology, wouldn't it? It would. Okay, so I just go put the thing in the mainframe. I can do that. Well, I want to know what it's worth. What, what are you going to give me this time? Well, you'll be getting access to an army of robots. That ought to be reward enough, right? There's no way I'm you getting an army of robots. I could spare some pulse grenades. Okay. So I just go connect the widget and the thing? Yeah. You should just be able to plug it into the mainframe at the Robco production facility. It'll give you access to the robots and terminals. Okay. Okay, here. And be sure to keep an eye peeled for any other examples of how to make old technology work for you out there. Um... Okay, thank you. Keep up the great research, super assistant. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's no way I'm going to get an army of robots, guys. I don't buy that. I don't believe that for a minute. There's no way that's the case, right? There's just no way that's the case. But we're going to go look anyway, because that sounds good. Let's just go ahead. Let's just bop on over. And bippity-boppity-boo, guys. Here we are. Here we are. Okay, so I just plug it into the mainframe. Install the processor widget. I'm expecting bad things to happen. Hostiles? Yeah, okay. That's kind of what I thought. Optional. Reprogram the mainframe. Oh, refer reprogram it. Let's do that. Let's reprogram the mainframe. So I guess I could get an army of robots, but they're just going to sit around in here, aren't they? They wouldn't actually go with me anywhere. There we go. Okay. <laughs> the code was struggles. All right, well... Uh, how may I assist you? Oh, wow, we can actually read some stuff. Let's read some stuff. Let's see the orientation guide, guys. This sounds fun. Congratulations on your transferal to the position of robot protocol operator. Your trusted co-workers will be the standard protection model stationed throughout the facility. Basic operation covers the day-to-day -day functionality of your co-workers as described in detail in your training manual. Uh, pest extermination encourages your co-workers to track and sanitize any roaches, rodents, and other undesired pests on the premises. Okay, so if we had accessed this while there were still rats and roaches, then it would have... Okay, I get it. Total liquidation removes your co-workers' humanoid safety protocols. Ooh, in the unlikely event of criminal intrusion or a communist attack. Okay. Robot shutdown. Allows you to temporarily retire your coworkers. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. We trust you'll find the work simple, rewarding, and extremely safe. Enjoy, okay? <laughs> um, let's go with... Um, pest extermination. Okay, so that worked. Uh, I want to cease total liquidation. Oh, I see. So whoever was running this mainframe probably turned them onto total liquidation because of the Chinese invasion, right? That's what it said to use it for, was if there was a communist attack, and that's what that was, so. Cool! I don't want to do stress testing. Let's just, that's good. That's good enough. They're not going to kill us. Are they? 
I don't guess they will. I do see some baddies over here, but they're roaches, aren't they? Yeah, they're just roaches. Okay, so the robots are friendly now. Surrender. Surrender accepted. <gasps> Move, buddy. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go see them. I want to go visit them. I'm sorry that we killed a couple of them, but I mean, you know, they were in the way. Hey, Foxy. Roboties. Domo Oregato, Mr. Roboto. Where are they? They're not up here. Are they downstairs? I have to go downstairs to say hello to the robots? Well, I guess I have to go downstairs to get out of this place anyway. Roboties! Roboties, there's one! Hey! Hi! Oh! Hi, buddy! Move along, please. Hello! Co-workers! Move along, please. Stealth boy! Co-workers! Hi! Oh, little robot co-workers! I guess this is what it's gonna feel like to work at McDonald's pretty soon, right? Aren't they? Move along. Aren't they gonna please. give you robot coworkers? <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, let's get out of here. That was fun. Move along, please. Oh, come on! I love you. Don't tell me to move along. Ooh, guys, 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 guys. Ha! You're in robot jail now. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, huh? Robot jail. That's right. Trapped. I, I don't know. I kind of feel bad. There you go. You're free. You've served your sentence. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Move. And this time, I know where to go. Move along, please. So I'm not going to run around in circles. At least I hope not. That was some masterful parkour. You got a bit- No! Faceless! Faceless rodent. Alright, let's get out of here. Move along. I am moving along. See, this is it. This is this is the way out. If you ever get stuck in mole rat purgatory, this is definitely the exit. Woohoo! Okay, let's leave. There we go. Sunshine! It's beautiful out here. It's so happy. I kind of want to go to Ten Penny Tower, but you know what? We're going to go there with Sharon. Because we're gonna free the ghouls, and it'll make it'll make his little ghoul heart happy to see us being nice to other ghouls. Probably, that's what I'm going with, anyways. That was like a ferocious run you had going on there, buddy. All right, let's go back to Moira. Moira, hey. Fiddle with any interesting technology lately? Yeah, I did. I reactivated the robots and was able to modify their programming. Harnessing the technology of the past and modifying it for your own purposes. That's just the thing. It's cool, Tell right? Me all about how it worked out. It went great. Um. <laughs> That's cute. Let's see. Intelligence. Even after reprogramming the robots for questionable value as allies, I just hijacked the mainframe so the robots would be a challenge. No. Like a charm, I only wish it were always that easy to manipulate people. There you go. Hey, robots are people too. Well, some of them. Kinda. You don't sound like well, you're very okay. convinced. Uh, not really. There you go. Uh, still, just in case you anger a few of our more metallic brethren, have a few pulse grenades I picked up. Metallic brethren. Okay. Oh, and take my book on science. For some reason, I just can't get into the computer parts. But I've got the rest pretty much memorized. Okay, thanks. I'll eat that book. Okay, the last part is about researching history, right? Yes, Rivet Cities in particular. It's the most successful survivor settlement around, but no one here really knows how it started. Of course, that's why it's important to know how a place like that succeeded. So I need you to go there and do some researching. Is it the most successful one? I think Megaton's pretty good. I mean, it was built around a bomb, and that's pretty whack, but I mean... It worked out somehow. What do, what kind of value does this have for you, sweetie? You mean, apart from making sure we don't repeat our tragic failures in a never-ending cavalcade of human pathos and suffering? Yes. Let's say... a big pile of Mentats. I got a shipment of those in recently. 
do a good job, and maybe the people of Rivet City will reward you too. Man, I have a lot of Mintats. I'm not even using them effectively because I don't know when. Like, they give me charisma, and I don't really know when I'm going to have a speech option, so I haven't been able to take them, you know, when I needed them prior to entering conversation. Okay, that's reasonable. I'll do it. Oh, now I can't wait for what you find out down there. And check around to make sure you're hearing the real deal. Okay. That's a pretty good thing to Keep do. Keep up the great research, super assistant. I mean, we need to go to Rivet City. Don't try anything. Oh, shut up. We're going to go to Rivet City anyway, because there's like, uh, we still have to do the whole synthetic man quest and, and all that. So we were going to go there pretty soon anyway. And I have a tip, a really interesting tip that I should check out the Muddy Rudder. So we'll do that next time, guys. Thanks as always. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.